Alright, hey all, um, today's the day that I start me, uh, the face mask, so sadly, all the face fluff's gonna go. I'm gonna do like I did with my little tutorial video, I'm just gonna do like a little snippet of each process, each, each step, where I got to, so I'm pretty much set up, so I'm gonna pause pretty early on, and go have a shave, and whatnot, and lose the hat, and, uh, I'll get back to you in a bit, so, uh, thank you very much. Okay, guys. As you can see, I'm all uh, all clean shaven, which feels weird. Uh, I'm sadly to say I have got to be semi naked to do this because I don't want to ruin my t-shirt, and I need to be able to get pretty much this V part all done here. So yeah, I'm half naked. No way, I'm not completely naked. Anyway, so right, the next step is to create a bald cap. Now I know I haven't got much hair on top as it is, but you know I have got this bloody massive amount that makes me look like a monk. Anyway, so yeah, cheap bald cap. I saw this on YouTube, so I'm just gonna copy that. So basically you take a piece of cling film, saran wrap, food wrap, whatever you want to call it. In the UK, it's known as cling film. Right, so you just pop that on your head, like so. Right, I'm gonna use the mirror that I've got in front of me because I can see better through that. So you just Smooth it over your head, make sure you cover most of your hairline on the front, and then just take a piece of duct tape, which I've uh, already prepared, and just stick it to your face as best you can. I'll try not to stick it in your eye like I've just done. Ow! Oh, the most awkward place to stick bloody duct tape right in the eye. Right, just pop that there. Right. It's all fun and games in me, I tell you. Right, so then. I'm going to put a piece there right on my forehead. Big palm. Right, and then. Right. I'm not bothered about the shape of my ears because I can mould them into the clay later on. So we'll just improvise for now with what we've got. Right, so. Let's just make sure all that's smoothed out. Start. Yeah, alright, so then we take another piece, which again I've already pre planned. So let's just. Oh, this stuff is a pain in the arse. I should be used to working with this, I'm used to working kitchens. I don't think I liked it though. I mean, I did like working in a kitchen, I love food. I just didn't like working with this stuff. You can use a swimming cap if you've got one, or. If you got a better idea, this it's because it was pretty much free to do. Right, so just smooth it all out like so, and again, just stick it down. Now I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I should have probably stuck the mirror behind me, maybe or something else. But yeah, I like to struggle. I know oh, this is a disaster. This I swear. Until it's Sunday. Right, so yeah, we'll just stick this down. You want to make sure you cover your hair up, or if you shave it all off, then that's an option. But well, for me, it's not because I need to grow it. Right, let's just have a feel. Right, that's okay there. Um, it's probably okay. Right, if I take that out into two pieces. Sorry, I'll be rambling on to myself a lot as I'm explaining what I'm doing to myself because I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I'm just going off what I saw on YouTube. And as I've not got it playing in front of me, I'm doing it from memory. Well, hopefully it'll work. It works for this guy's Batman mask, so it should work for Sanguine. So, yeah. Oh, flipping neck. Right. If you get somebody to help you, obviously a lot easier. Right. It's a bit bunched up there, isn't it? Let's just take that down. Right. Let's get another piece of tape. I see this being a disaster. Maybe I can sell this one there. Uh, and then. Oh, for God's sake. Now my eyes all tingly from having duct tape in it. Right. If you get somebody to help you, get them to help you. It'd be a lot bloody easier than trying to do it on your own. Right. Sod it. Right. I think that'll do. Right. 
So once you're, uh, you're all sealed in, I'll just double check because last thing you want is it all in your hair. Right, and the next thing you want to do is get some petroleum jelly or Vaseline or whatever it's called in your neck of the woods. And you want to get it all over your face because you don't want the plaster paris sticking to your face. Like especially your eyebrows and whatnot. So just kind of rub it all around your face. Over your eyes. Now because I'm going to do down here, I'm going to do it on my neck as well. Nose, definitely do your eyebrows. You don't want them being pulled off. You look stupid. Right. So yeah. Right. Rub the excess off. Right. So I am looking very stupid at the moment, but I don't care. Right. So I've pre-cut my strips. I'll just give them a little, a little dip. Now I've not really used this stuff before so I don't know exactly how it works. I'm guessing you give it a quick dip and then you kind of lay it on. Alright and just let it take the shape. I've got to remember to keep that eye closed. Right, so give it a quick dip. Bloody no more, what have I done? It's folded up on itself. Wow. You just know it's gonna be a bad day. Right. Right, so sod it, it doesn't matter. Right, so over the eye. Right, you wanna press it in. You wanna get a good good cast of your face. I should probably cut some of these a bit smaller actually. Right, I'm only going to do the front of my face. Oh, sir, I need to actually take it off when it sets. Right, and you need to keep one eye clear. Right, so let's do the nose next. It is suggested to keep your nose unblocked, but I'm going to do my mouth instead. Right, so oh, let's just do my chin. Oh, I'm gonna stop talking now.
Fuck, I feel it's starting to get stiff now. I know it's hella hard to do. Yeah, it doesn't take long to sit at all. Just want to seal it all down a little bit. Also, you want to try and minimize movement as much as you can. Well, that's a fact, I'm going to do another cover. Make these smaller, a lot smaller. That's just a very few of gnomes. Probably not a dice. Alright, that'll do it now. Alright, so. Do another cover. I want to make sure it's nice and stiff.
got through it now. That's two whole rolls on her entire face. I'm just gonna keep still and I'll let it let it dry. You can see. It's starting to set. So I'm just going to pause the video now. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I think it's set enough for me to take off now. So it's just. Uh, ow! Let's just see what we do. Right. Oh. Okay, I forgot about the neck hair. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Oh. That was weird. Oh. But, yeah, as we can see, we... We have a mould of my face, of sorts. I think I've lost all my eyelashes. <laughs> so, um, I think I need more Vaseline. Anyway, um, now, I'm just going to stick to one side and just, just let it finish setting. So, um, hmm. It's still wet in places, I'm a bit scared to put it down actually. But, you know, basically, this is it, so. Oh, I feel weird. Right, it's gonna take this off for now. I'm gonna make a new one. Oh. Oh, I can't even explain what I look like. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going there. Right, so, yeah, we'll do the back in a minute. That should be a lot easier. Right, I've uh, redid the uh, the cap, and uh, I've made sure all my hair's covered up this time, because that really did actually hurt. So now I just want to do the back of my head. Uh, you want to have a bit of an overlap, so when you put the two pieces together, you draw a line, snip, 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 and it'll cut together perfectly then, and then you get the exact size of your pudding head not that you might have a pudding head, I have so yeah, same process as before, quick dunk and plonk it on, so we want to go about there and over the ears again like I said before, I'm not bothered about the shape of the ears and whatnot because I've got to change them anyway because uh, Sanguine has like elven ears even though he's a, a Daedra and not an elf of any sort if you look, oh you can't see, sorry, I'll move the camera in a bit and show you I've actually put um, the front part of my face on my uh, mannequin's head just so it can dry. And I've also filled the gaps in that was the eye and the mouth. So fingers crossed. It should be fine. Uh, I really could do with a mirror or something behind me because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna have to rely on sense of touch and hope for the best. The only problem is when cling film gets wet, it just kind of slimy as well, so I'm going to go a little bit further forward. It's very simple to do, I might use these for me, uh, for the idea for me, uh, mannequin actually. This is the stuff that you used for broken bones. So it's obviously very strong in a thick layer. But as a uh, a thin layer to replicate skin, 
I'm not too sure. But then again, I suppose you could take it as thick as the clothing. I must warn you, this is very, very messy. But luckily, it'll clean up easily enough. So, at least I hope so. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fork out for a new carpet. <laughs> Which obviously I don't want to. I think I've got everywhere. So now it's just a case of doing another layer in places. I've really worked with clay since uh, I left school, so making a full mask is going to be exciting. Probably a disaster. Might have to abort this whole mission. Right, last two pieces. Right then, just smooth it all down, press it down. And I'm just going to stay in one position now. And Right then, so that's that done. Just in case of sitting here now and let it set, so I'm going to uh, pause the camera, you know, tidy up a little bit while it sets, try and keep my head as still as I can. And uh, basically, this is step one of the uh, sanguine mask. I hope it's been informative, and thanks for watching. And again, I'm sorry about the semi-nakedness, but you can see why.